What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in again this week. So this week we're actually going to be diving back into Unreal Engine for some Unreal Engine audio tutorial stuff. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to set up a basic dynamic music system. So what that means is we're going to have some music playing and when our player starts here at the beginning, they're not going to hear anything. And then as they progress down this platform, more and more layers of music are actually going to be added. So what I mean when I say that we're going to be setting up a basic system, we're not going to be getting into tempo changes and things like that. I uh, will be doing a video later on with stuff like that, but I just kind of want to build the basics. That way, once we get into it, it won't be so complicated. I also want to give a huge shout out to my dude, Nate, for letting me use his song, The Wrath of the Cosmos, for this project. Nate's a super talented composer and sound designer that you'll find over on Twitch. There will be a link to his Twitch channel in the description below, along with a link to his SoundCloud, where you'll find the full version of this song, along with some other great people. So with that being said, let's get started. So as I mentioned, uh, what we want is when we're standing here on this white floor, uh, we don't want to hear any music. And then as we come in here to this blue area, we hear the bass, followed by drums, strings, and the synths. But then what we also want is then if we move further away, we're dropping off these layers as well. All right, so the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna be setting up sound classes and sound mix modifiers. So I've already got all the stems pulled in here. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a sound class for each of our piece. Now inside each one of these assets, we want to make sure that every single one of them is looping. And then we want to come down here to the volume and we want to set this to 0 0.001. And I'll explain why here in just a second. Another thing that we want to do is we want to go through each of those assets or those stems and we want to make sure that we're putting them into their correct classes. Then we can go ahead and save all that and we shouldn't need to open up those audio files. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna create four sound mix modifiers. And again, just like our classes, we want one for each. Now, once we've got our sound mixes made, uh, we need to go through each of them and we want to click on add an array element. And we're gonna click this little drop down here and we want to select the class that identifies with what this means. So we're gonna go ahead and base. And under the volume adjuster, this is where it comes in where we set the original source volume to 0 0.001, because now we're gonna set this to a thousand. And the reason that we're gonna be doing that is the way that this particular basic setup is done, we start where Technically, all of the audio is still playing when we start the loop. And if you were to absolutely crank your volume, you might hear a little rip. Now, I'm not saying that this is the best way to set it up, but it is a very basic way to set it up. And if you've got other sounds going on inside your project, you're not going to hear it. So with this sound mix, once we push that sound mix, what it's going to do is it's going to take that... 0 0.001, it's going to multiply it by a thousand, and then now we're going to have a volume of one, which by default in Unreal Engine is normal volume. So something else we can do is we can also come in here to our fade in time, and I'm just going to set this to 0.5 and our fade out at 0.5 as well, just to kind of give it a more smooth curve as each of these layers come in. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to the rest of those, and then we'll jump on to the next step. All right, so for our next step, we're actually going to be setting up some box triggers. Now, I've actually already got these set up, because if you're getting into the point of where you're building dynamic music into your level, chances are you probably know how to set up a box trigger already. If not, 
Uh, there will be a card that just popped up in the top corner on setting up box triggers to trigger audio. So the first box trigger that we want is for our bass here. And with this box trigger, uh, I've got the entire thing encompassing all four squares because with the bass, we want to be able to hear that bass anytime the music playing. That's going to be our first layer. And then our next uh, layer is, and then our next trigger is going to be our drums. And we only want that to be heard when we're in any one of these three. So I've got those. Um, so I've got that box trigger encompassing those and so on and so forth. So now we just need to use these box triggers to push and pop our sound mix modifiers. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our level blueprint here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create two functions for each of those triggers. And those two functions, uh, one is gonna be an on actor begin overlap, and the other one is going to be an on actor end overlap. So basically what's going to happen is when our player steps into the box, going to push that sound mix modifier. And then when they leave that trigger box, it's going to do what's called a pop of that sound mix modifier, which essentially is reversing that sound mix modifier. So let's go ahead and drag off of here and we're going to go under our audio push sound mix modifier and we're going to do another one pop and since we're talking about our bass trigger box here uh, we want that to be the mix and i'm going to go ahead and compile this i'm going to save it i am going to then drag in our bass step. so now when we hit play, we don't hear any audio. Now, like I mentioned before, if I were to crank this up super loud, you would hear a faint remnant. But what's gonna happen then is once we move into this bass area, we're gonna hear. Now we can hear that bass stem. And then when we move out, fades back out. So let's go ahead and open up our level blueprint again. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the same triggers for all of the box. All right, so I've got all of our box triggers set up. So now the one last thing that we need is we need to go ahead and pull in the remainder of our sounds. Go ahead and grab these. Go ahead and pull all three in. And we'll go ahead and save this. And so now if we hit play, you'll see we don't have any audio. And then we'll just go ahead and walk. All right, there you have it. Uh, that is a super basic dynamic music system. Now you can use things like this for, you know, let's say you're walking through a house and you're getting closer to a boss. Um, the player may not know that that boss or that enemy further in the level, but you can kind of give them clues. You know, the closer they get, maybe you have more layers coming into your audio. Or you can even set this up without, instead of using box triggers, you can set it to other parameters. So say maybe you're in a boss battle and the further down that boss's health gets, you're layering in more audio. So that's just something really cool that you can do to kind of help add an extra element to your game. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap things up for this week. Uh, thank you so much again for tuning in. And thank you so much to Nate for allowing me to use that song. Like I said before, you will find a link to his Twitch channel and his SoundCloud in the description below. In that description, you'll also find a link to the Sound Effects Guide Discord server. 
Uh, it's still kind of a small community, but we'd love to have you. Don't forget, there's also still time to get your entry in for the I Challenge You to Sound Design This Clip number six. Those entries are due in by October 9th. And make sure you put hashtag the sound effects guy in the title. That way, when you upload them back to YouTube, I can find them. I will be doing a live review a week following after their deadline uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern, which is October 16th. So make sure you tune in for that. And with that being said, until next time. <laughs>